Alright, hey guys, um, this is a new game I'm playing, um, it is obviously not a new game, I mean, look at it, it's actually Submarine Titans, it's called, um, I'm just gonna do a quick playthrough of this, I have a lot of maps to choose from, I have played this a lot before, um, so I'm gonna start out with Abyss of Despair, so, settings, <laughs> I'm not gonna do this yet, cause this is probably just gonna be, like, a, just a quick one. Um, I'll show you how everything is on here, so that it is good. I'm going to be these people, I'm going to increase this. No, actually I can't, I got medium, because I want medium there. Um, there we go, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> Alright, so this game is basically like, just like a giant, like, world like mini underground world of everything completely just mouse controlled if you just want to which is me um this is my builder submarine we're all underwater right now um this is like a little construction thingy i was building a sub center which lets me create submarines like to fight for me and stuff this right here this is my map this allows me to go around and see what's up in this map seeing a digger so I can do stuff. Um, <laughs> arm Center lets me create new weapons and stuff like that for other submarines. Um, this right here, that is um, a rep center, which is um, basically, in simple terms, it is a repair center for submarines. And right now I'm just creating these things called tech centers, right, as you can see. Um, they, um, what is it called? I can't even think tonight. Um, basically, they just do research for you. And this game is just so much fun. It's really high paced at some moments. It's just awesome. I recommend it. I'm right. Oh, I. And so I basically tell them to move around by right clicking around and stuff. Left mouse button, select stuff. You can select him. Um. What else can I do? Oh yeah, info center. Let's let me hack into anybody, like enemy systems and stuff, to see what's up with their stuff. Sonar. I want a sonar so I can view other enemies' areas, basically. Now, what I want to watch is this. This is my gold meter. Um, gold meter. Basically, what it does is allows me to get gold, per se, from like this thing. That thing's a gold extractor. I just put it down right there. It's. Well, obviously, it basically does whatever it pretty much shows. It um, extracts gold from the ground, like the seafloor, and then it pumps it into the central bank kind of thing. Um, this is Corium. It's one of, one of two elements in the game. And that is completely... So, density of gold, that's good. There's a lot of gold in this area. Rate of extraction, that's good. That's how much, um, how long it takes to get, like, get off the ground. That's the build. Now, Corium. This is Corium, that green stuff down there. And I'm building this thing above it. So, I can basically extract it from the sea floor. So that I can build stuff with it. Corium is basically, it's like a grassy type substance, I think. Um, this is metal. And that is, like, around some places. Now, I do see that there's, like, graphical glitches all around here. It's, like, different colors and stuff. I have not figured out how to fix that on the recording software with this game. And the game is basically like that, actually. But it looks way better if there's none of this. This is a tech center. It allows me to trade with other people from the surface to get their crap. So I can get more corium, and more metal for in, in exchange for gold. Now, look at all that gold right there. Come on. Yeah, but it's a gold. This is a teleporter, basically. This is a disperser. I have no idea what it does, but it just looks cool, so I'm just gonna get it anyways. Um, shark control. This allows it so that I can control sharks, obviously. Psychotron. That a lot, like, discombobulates people, basically. It's just like they, they get held up in places. Teleshield has it so that they can base. Why don't I keep saying basically? <sighs> of course, I have to say it. Okay, basically, yes, I use basically again. Basically, um, it allows it so that 
enemies cannot teleport within my range of over here. Those two are my ones that I really want right here. This Plasmatron and the TLS. That's, um, Thermo Launch Site or something like that. And then this is, um, makes the missiles. So that launches missiles, that creates missiles. And these are turrets. This one. Ugh. This one right here. I forgot what the heck that does. I haven't played this in so long. This is a stealth, a stationary torpedo on platform or something. It basically just shoots torpedoes. This right here, that is... What, I don't even know what that one's called. HF cannon, Hellfire cannon, I believe. It launches, like, projectiles that look like little energy balls at people. I need this thing. I need this thing. No, wait, 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 wait. Is it done? No, come on. As you can, that's some um, progress percentage, and as, that's the cost of it. So that gray stuff, that's the metal right here. And that green stuff, that's that corium right there. The corium's already done. Not enough air. Yeah, waiting orders. Yeah, you better wait my orders. This is an um, air extractor. It gives me it so I can have oxygen. As you can see, it's all red. Which is, um... Well, I'd put in the terms that it's not good. Not having any air. Okay. Come on. Give me some more air. You but. And that's... That one I just clicked on. That one with the little red X mark. Yeah, that thing right there. That's a dismantler. I can click it over something like that. And there's like a little money sign. Leia! Ugh, if you didn't know by now, Leia's my dog. And she tends to bark, and it's annoying. Um... I need more gold. Crap. I don't want to put too many in close area, though. Oh, good, it's done! Okay, okay these right here, these are the trans subs, they're called. They, um... They get the crap from where, like, the mining resources, and it takes it over to, um, this thing that stores it. And pumps into a central bank. This right here, this is a constructor. Those are the things I'm using right now. Which is... Where, where are you? There you are. That guy. These things, I see those as useless. They're rep subs. They repair Sir. submarines. Roger. And uh, right now I'm just clicking on random upgrades I can get on through the tech centers. Now as you can see right here, the cost of it is 50. New structure improvement, arm center upgrade. I don't use the arm center that much, but who cares. You can come over here. Yes, sir. And you can select multiple units at once. Now, some of you might be going, Nah, eh, I'm not going to watch anymore. Just shut it off. Well, it's about to get interesting once I have, like, a huge army. Or even if I find out who the heck is over here, because I have no idea. I'm already on seven minutes into this. My, mm, Let's see here. These right here, they're military subs. I mostly want... I... I like them, but... They're not really useful that much. Now what it'll do is it'll count all these up and it'll do all those first click click on the cause I clicked on those first, then it'll go in to click on that one to make them. <laughs> that one right there, the Maruder. Insufficient. I like it a lot because it like um you can send it out to enemy structures and it'll dismantle them. <sighs> it actually just um in simpler terms it'll take them over. Right, mine layer obviously lays lays mines and cleans up mines from a mine sh minefield or something. Um, DC bomber, that bombs the crap out of enemy stuff. Cruiser, that's basically like a, like just, you could call it a tank, basically. These are pretty much infantries, but this one's like a heavier one, just kills anything in sight. This one right here, this one is the best military sub you can get. It's a, what is it called, a Terminator. Oh, it's beast. Um, once I up, like, research enough and upgrade, it gives me, um, a plasma cannon. This plasma cannon can just murder people in two seconds. It is beast. And come on. Really. At your command. I can press that little button to transfer the gold from here into the little bank. Thing my So that I can keep it. So I don't have to wait. Insufficient metal because I can't get into here. I'm just gonna stop all these. I don't need these right now. Plasmatron is... Literally, Sir, do I really yes, have? I, I 
Gotta board it. Well, guys, um... Insufficient metal. I've never had this done before. I have no possible way of getting metal now because I just made all this other crap. Um... My, my corium's going down. I have no metal left. This is the trade center. This lets me trade with other things so I can get the, like, I can trade my gold for metal and crap. Corium also is the same way, but research in order to, complete. I mean research complete. I don't need research anymore. Ah, oh, well guys, I gotta start a new world, I guess. So this will be cut out and I'll see you back in like two seconds when I restart this. Alright, hey guys, we are back. Um, I just had to restart because it was being stupid. And I was stupid. So, the first thing that I'm gonna get is the trade center, which lets me get that crap. And the sub center so I can make the stuff. Good. Now I'm in business. Now, I'm getting this metal because I didn't. Over, I was actually over here around last time. This time, I'm uh, over the top left, uh, top, top left, top right. Um, making some crap over here. Gonna get some gold extractors. Structure construction complete. And the oxygen is basically killing itself. I'm gonna get some corium over here after that thing builds, because it doesn't quarry up like that. Mm -hmm. get, oh, crap. Get some that corium. Yep, yeah, that, that's right. Get some that corium. Information process. Build. Build. Construction complete. I'm not building anything after this. I'm just gonna wait for this one. Although, I do need some oxygen thing. I'm gonna build one. Come on, come on. It's okay. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on. Yes, I know it's insufficient air. 